A show that tackles the big issues affecting the BVI and the rest of the Caribbean. Searches for answers to today's big questions and gives viewers a unique perspective on developing stories. Follow the big story with me, Kathy Richards, only on GTV. This show is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Nail Spa and Barbershop, Tisley Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, and Digicel Simply More Speed, Reliability and Entertainment. Tisley Cross Cider. Tisley Cross Cider. Deliciously smooth. This is the big story. I'm Kathy Riches. Want to thank you so much for joining us for this edition. We want to talk about what you're going to be doing this Sunday. You're going to be going out to the HLSCC to make sure that you support the contestants in this year's Gen Y Factor. And for us to talk about that, we have uh, in studio today, uh, Ms. Brenda Let some time, Mrs. Brenda Let some time. I don't want my dear friend to get me. He's like, oh, you divorce her now. <laughs> We have a very new face to the territory. Her friendly name is CC. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to first of all, I'll, I'll start with her because she's so new and we want the <laughs> public to get to know her. She's from that bigger, better network. <laughs> is, uh, so welcome first to the territory. Yes. Welcome to JTV and welcome to the set of The Big Story. Tell us who you are, what you do. What you represent. Oh, thank you so much, Kathy. It's a pleasure to be here with the team. My name is Celicia Albert, but as you mentioned, it's CC. It's quite easier to say. I'm the Digital and Customer Experience Manager with the Bigger Better Network, Digicel. And it's my privilege to be here specifically today with Brenda to talk about our partnership for the Gen Y singing competition. The best of the best is coming out this Sunday. So it's our honor and privilege to continue that partnership and close off really wonderful events this Sunday. So that's my purpose being here, talking about what we're going to do, how we're going to promote this event and making sure we see everyone there this Sunday. Awesome. <laughs> Brenda, no stranger to the set of the big story, especially when it comes to that brand on your t-shirt, Gen Y Factor. Yes. Uh, we were all wondering, you know, was it really going to happen? But it is. It is happening. Definitely. This Sunday, as everyone says, 7 p.m. sharp. You know how Gen Y Factor rolls <laughs> at the H. Laverty Stowe Community College. We're excited. This year is called Best of the Best mm. because all our participants are finalists from former shows. Mm. So you know they already were vetted. They already went through the whole process. They just wouldn't win the crown, but they're all back this year because they're vying for that Best of the Best title. Awesome. What we would have realized with the, the, the transition and how you stage uh, Gen Y Factor, almost every year there was a different flair to yes, it. There was. You would have had different types. You, yes. And now this year you come with the best of the best. Yes, what motive, what's the motivating factor behind putting it that way? The best of the best? Yes. Just, well, you know, as you said, this is our fifth year. And every year we focus on something different. The first year, we would just have the Gen Y Factor competition. And it was such a huge success that we decided, okay, maybe we can have different themes as the years go by. We always had a five-year plan. We always had a five-year plan. Okay. This is the fifth year. The second year, we thought to include everyone in the territory. So we had district battle where we had from Anigata to Yos Van Dyke, we had representatives in all nine districts. We ended up having 12 finalists that year. The following year, we, we said, you know, everyone was like, you know, boys against girls. The first year, a young man won, Darnell Sanderson. The second year, Mishana Kim Miller won. So we had one male, one female, and they were like, well, you know, who's better? I said, fine, we'll do Battle of the Sexes. So we had Battle of the Sexes in the third year. And that year, Dwight. Hutchinson. Dwight Hutchinson Jr. won that title. And... Uh, 
the last, the fourth year, we actually intended to do uh, inter-Virgin Islands, but then we had COVID, we had lots of other issues that happened, so we could not pursue that. So then we said, okay, fine, we can't bring in our U.S. Virgin Island sisters and brothers, oh. so let's do something else. And we decided to do the school battle, which also included the H. Lavity South Community College, mm -hmm. and that was in 2020. The fourth year and Miss Toria Price won. So we actually have two male and two female winners. Nice. Mm -hmm. So this year, best of the best, we will see who tops, whether the male will come out on top or the females will say enough and take it all. <laughs> but how, how did you come up go about selecting the best of the best to go against each other? The best of the best, it was open to all finalists from years one through four so whoever showed an interest and committed oh. to being a part of the show we didn't have to do the auditions and, and all of that before because they were already finalists okay. so it was just their commitment and interest in being a part of the show and we went from there okay well we know we exist in a time where you know finance is really hard to come by especially when we try to do social activities uh, how are you getting because it's cost Discuss. It costs. It definitely costs. We have various, we have various um, sponsors at this point. I don't want to list names and leave out anybody. I hate that. Mm -hmm. So, but we have various sponsors. The ones I do have for certain are the clothing sponsors. And I must, must, must thank these persons. They're persons who I will list who have been with us since year one. Wow. They are wonderful. And the whole point of having clothing sponsors is that when our young people step on stage, we want them to be equal. We want them to step out looking their best. We want them to represent the best of who they are and all they have to worry about is singing. So it's all about looking and feeling confident. Exactly. And we have some amazing, I mean, we have good fellas. We have Royal Shop, the dressing room, and Beautiful by Jasmine, they've been with us from the very beginning. This is their fifth year helping us out. And new to us this year is She Likes It BVI, a lady out of Virgin Gold. We're very happy to get the Sister Islands in. And we've had Petra's Glamorous Designs for at least three of our five competitions. So those, those are the persons who will be dressing them, decking out in that very last round before the winner is announced. But this year, in the second round, we have what we call Virgin Island Flair. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be singing, they're going to be singing Virgin Islands, and we mean BVI, Virgin Islands. Okay, <laughs> it's <so> all <laughs> local music, and we have our local artists assisting them. Mm -hmm. We have Boss, Pascal, and Jugu, mm -hmm. our royalty. Mm -hmm. And we also have our local designers. We have Hustlers Never Fold. We have Muir, BVI, Elevated, VI Legacy, and Foreigner. So as I said, our partnerships with our local brands, our local clothing businesses, they have been so, so good to Jane White Factor. And I'm telling you, when you see our young people step out on that stage on Sunday, you will simply go, wow. Okay, so now I'm getting an even better gist of what to expect, because this is not just a singing competition where you just pop on stage, bust out two songs, and, <laughs> and a panel of judges decide, okay, you sound better than the other, and you win. This is a, a show. It is a show. Ooh. It is a show that's produced from the opening number t to the moment we name the winner. Give us the rundown of that. There are, opening number. There's an opening number where the, con the there's an opening number mm -hmm. where the former winners open the show. So we bring them back, and then we introduce our seven finalists. Then we have round one. Round one is called the encore round. And this encore round, all the participants will be singing a song they sang when they competed oh. way back when. Because we wanted to see, okay, we knew what you sounded back then. Let's see what you can do with that song now. So the first round is the encore round. After that encore run happens, we go into our VI flair. And this year, they are allowed dancers and backup singers. This Not is a show. show. <laughs> 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 There's back, they're backup singers and dancers for the second round. Because you know, it's VI flair. Come on. 
And then the final round is a ballad, and again, they have backup singers. I can't wait. I, can't, I haven't heard, I have not heard them yet. I'm, I'm looking sorry for forward anything to it. else that was on my calendar for, for Sunday because <laughs> it just shifted. It just because, you know, I'll, I'll tell you the truth, you know, I'm not so good at keeping my diary and I was thinking this is Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but it's great. It's great. Um, uh, time, mm -hmm. cost per ticket. Are you still uh, with a lot of tickets, a lot of seats available? <laughs> okay. We, we, let's start with the first one. Sunday. 17th July, Eileen L. Parsons Auditorium, 7 p.m. sharp. The tickets are $30 each, flat rate. There's no VIP, there's flat rate. They're $30 each. We only printed 400 tickets. But you can pay at the door if you surpass mm. What's the capacity? We, we, of we, cannot, we would prefer advanced mm -hmm. ticket sales. Mm -hmm. If all else fails and we have a fair amount left, I, we will do something to announce that you can buy them at the door. But we really prefer to, it, it, it's, it's, it's taxing to have to sell tickets while we're working with them. But you are all we're I'm doing. I'm looking at how you we know? can make the maximum amount of money. We, uh, only 400 seats available in the auditorium? 430. Oh, okay. Yes, so, okay, so we got 400 seats out. All the contestants were given tickets to sell. So they're, they're working on it. I already, Get their points for more sale. I already have a contestant who's brought back tickets and taken some more to sell. So mm -hmm. they're you going. Stubs. No, they, they brought, he, brought, he brought in money. Oh, and collected okay, yeah, more yeah, tickets. Yeah, yeah. To sell. <laughs> 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 collected. Um, it's at JMC mm -hmm. and the Department of Youth Affairs and Sports. And I know our people love to do everything at the last minute, but that it's dwindling. So I suggest between today and tomorrow early, come in and get those tickets. It's going to be the best production of Jane Y Factor we've ever done. I don't think that's an understatement or an overstatement. <laughs> it's just right. Uh, but Sissy, what Digicel is doing for this competition this year? Well, for this year, we're sponsoring prizes for all the contestants for the best of the best. Our winner is going to get a very premium smartphone courtesy Digicel. And of course, all our other contestants, because they're still the best of the best, are also going to receive prizes courtesy Digicel. Additionally, for attendees, Digicel will be doing giveaways at the event. So I do hope people come down because you'll get some beautiful Digicel merch courtesy us. But it's really about us supporting things in the BVI and it's a privilege to work with the Gen Y team and the ministry to promote these beautifully talented people. So I really look forward to it and I hope to see everybody there. <laughs> when you say uh, Digicel is going to be making sure that all the contestants get gifts and right away in my head the bulb went down. Okay, it's going to be an Apple versus Android thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm on the Android side, so. Uh, oh wow! Okay, okay, okay. I'm okay. okay. Android. I will represent a Samsung. <laughs> but yes. Yeah, so we're giving the best of both worlds. So our, our winner is gonna get a nice premium Apple iPhone 13, fresh, spanking new. And for our, our, those others who are competing, we'll be getting Android devices as well. It's so we give, a, we give a best of both, you know, give the yes, best of best, both. The best there is on the market right now, yes. they all be getting. <laughs> awesome to know. We know that the Digicel is forever committed to whatever it takes to make life enjoyable. Of course. Pleasurable in the Virgin Islands. Always. Bigger and better. Bigger and better, always for the BVI. Reliable and all, as always. Always for the BVI, gotcha. of course. <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> all right, so we have two of the uh, participants yes. who are going to be on the show here. So we're going to be right back with two of them, along with Brenda again. Stay tuned. Hi. My name is Darnell Sanderson, and I'm the first winner of the Gen Y Factor Singing Competition. I won in 2016. Hello everyone, I'm Shauna K. Miller, and I won the second Gen Y Factor Singing Competition, the District Battle, in 2017. Hey my lovely people, it's Dwight, 2019 Gen Y Factor winner, Battle of the Sexes. Anything they can do, we did it better. Fresh off the Miss Teen stage, you first got to know me as winner of the 2020 Gen Y Factor Singing Competition. 
the Glee edition. We are here today to announce competitors of the final Gen Y Factor singing competition, the best of the best. Presenting the contestants for the 2022 and final Gen Y Factor singing competition. From season one, Calvin James, Kaywana Pope, and Kenrico Whitley Jr. From season two, Lorenzo Thomas. From season three, Simone Phillip, Maya Brown, and Johanse Smith. Join us for the final Gen Y Factor singing competition on Sunday the 17th of July at the Eileen L. Parsons Auditorium, HLSCC. Showtime is 7 p.m. Tickets are only available through advance sale. No tickets will be sold at the door. Only 400 seats available. Tickets are now available from contestants, JNC Trading Limited, and from the Department of Youth Affairs and Sports. When the curtains fall on our final show, one person will rise as the final Gen Y Factor singing competition winner and be $10,000 richer. On Sunday, the 17th of July, we'll make history together. All right, so we are back with two of seven contestants that are going to be on stage this Sunday at the H. Laverty Stout Community College in the Eileen L. Parsons Auditorium. And it's, oh, you're nervous already, I can see. <laughs> it's a nerve-wracking moment for you, Kalen, and for you, my am I not correct? Uh, not kinda. necessarily. Yeah, no. They're Very veterans. <laughs> Veterans, well, I, you know. I'm good, I'm good. I, I will tell you, I like some moments when you go to sit here with some people over there. You, yeah. As often as I do this, I get nervous. So I yes, know that yes. going on the stage do bring some nerve, but you're very confident in what yeah, you're going definitely. to do. Yeah. For those of us who don't remember your background mm -hmm. in music, I start with you, Calvin. Um, my name is Calvin James, a.k.a. Cal J. Um, I'm an entertainer artist. I've been singing from about 20 13 um been doing my career from ever since then been singing all over the world basically and been doing the gen way and with this lovely beautiful lady next to me um but i've i've been accelerating in my career quite some time now been dropping albums been doing my stuff been good traveling so been doing all of that just just been fun for me yeah i've been seeing you yeah definitely. i've been following you yeah. but my Tell me about you. I just know this pretty face passing by every now and then. Okay, so my name is Maya Brown and I am not new to the public. Um, well, maybe old to the public, but I'm trying to come back out now. So, yes, I've been in Miss Perform before. I won the pageant and I won the talent segment singing a lovely song that everyone seemed to like. I've been singing in the church since I've been small. I've been actually singing for quite a while, so this is nothing new for me. Not really nerve-wracking. Maybe seeing you know that you've been in your shell for a while and now you come back out, you know you, the expectations that the crowd may have is gonna be extreme, and I do expect to meet those expectations or more. So I'm really looking out for the show. I hope everyone comes out and support all of me and my fellow contestants. When it comes to to singing, uh, this is one thing my, my boss would always I, I hear him asking uh, persons all the time. Do you write your own music? Do you do you do you do your own writing? Definitely, definitely. I do. do. I have a few um, songs that are supposed to be coming out. One is actually going to be with someone very well known. Hopefully, after the show, I'll be able to release that. Someone very well known. You guys will know shortly. An international artist that we all know and love. So, I'm looking very forward nice. to that. Okay. Huh? <laughs> all right. I, I'll, I'll leave you surprised. And you, Khaled. <laughs> You've been doing a lot of writing? Yeah, I've been doing a lot of writing. Um, I dropped an album around in March on my birthday, call it The Difference. Mm -hmm. So y'all can check it out. Basically, The Difference shows you like the versatility in my um, music. So you wouldn't hear the same thing over and over. But everything is basically original and written by me and my local friends, actually. Like, instrumentals are very local in the BVA, so everything like I have to be honest. Awesome. Brenda, you call these young people your children. Yes, I have uh, a ton of them. Whenever you were around <laughs> them, not just for Colin and Maya, the entire group of them that would have passed through your hands over the five years in yes. Gen Y mm -hmm. or in the school setting or in, in sports. Uh, what does it mean for you being able to keep them in their space, uh, a way where they, 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 they get to push their potentials uh, a, a bit further? Well, to be honest, I am so gratified. 
even before seeing them perform, having them come back and seeing the level of development. I remember when they rolled up in auditions. <laughs> back in, the, this was 2016, 2019. You know, they were, they were shy. Even though they had the talent, they were shy. They didn't stand there with confidence. We worked with them. And to see them now, to see how confident they are in their own talent. You know, it's like, this is what Gen Y Factor was about. Getting our young people, identifying the talent and helping them develop that talent and helping them develop that confidence. Because what I expect that once they win this Gen Y Factor, I am expecting to see them on the international stage next. You know, we have a, a grand prize and that grand prize is really to did they use that to catapult them into developing? How much you is it? Mm -hmm. It's $10,000. 10000 dollars she just said under her breath. <laughs> <laughs> but the and I, I, we really felt that instead of just doing the little things we've done with all the other Gen Y factors, these guys have had time to develop. And they're at the stage of their lives where they are ready to move on to the next level. So we wanted to give them a prize that can assist them in getting there. Awesome. Uh, well, we see Maya, we see Calden. Who are the other five? We have... Lorenzo. Maybe I should do by year. From yeah. year one. We have Mr. James here. Calden was one. Calden. We have Kiwana Pope. Okay. And we have Kenrico Whitley. Oh, okay. From year two, we have Mr. Lorenzo Thomas. From year three, we have Miss Maya Brown, Miss Simone Phillip, and Mr. Johansi Smith. Oh, yeah. As you can hear by those names, it's <laughs> going to be a tight competition. It's They're all coming. Some show. <laughs> This is going to be some show. I'm hearing Ken Rico, and I hear you answer. Yes. This is going to be a show, and I'm going to look to see what you guys bring out. And, you know, I, the sky is the limit. And, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes you see persons looking very quiet and mm -hmm. looking as if they're, you know, going to be shy. But boy, oh boy, when Step they out. do get on that stage, and we're looking forward to that. Uh, what do you say to the people of the Virgin Islands uh, in preparation for your uh, appearance on stage on Sunday? Um, for me, well, what I got to say to them is get your tickets now. It's only 30 bucks. The show is July 17, 2022 at HLSCC. Best of the best. Listen, y'all come or y'all don't want to miss it. The show will be tight, fire, hot. Listen, just buy a ticket and come out and support. That's all I can say. You buy it. I was going to say what he said. Actually, <laughs> so make sure you buy your tickets and come on out to the show and support us all, okay? Okay, and to you, Brenda, what's your parting words? My parting words, the same, but also appreciation. Appreciation to the general public for supporting us over the years. Appreciation to all our lovely sponsors. Appreciation to Digicel, who's been with us from the very beginning. Um, we are the Department of Youth Affairs and Sports and the Gen Y Factor promo team. We are very, very grateful grateful and we, Im we we ask people to come up. This is the last show. <laughs> Let's get it straight. This is the last Gen Y Factor singing competition. It is the it is in every sense of the word it is the best of the best and you will get the best performance ever from Gen Y Factor. So we just saying we got our Gen Y Factor next year? Um no. well <laughs> That's for another conversation. I want to thank you guys for stopping by JTV to appear on the Big Story set as well. We want to say thanks to Digicel CC. Welcome again to the Virgin Islands and we look forward to greater things from Digicel. I want to thank you for taking time out to join us here on the Big Story. I'm Kathy Richards. <laughs>